We are joined now by the Ukrainian Prime Minister, Denis Shmiel. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for joining us this morning. You know, the Russians have demanded surrender in Mariupol by early this morning. That deadline has now passed. Has the city fallen? No, the city still is not fallen. There is still our uh, military forces, our soldiers, so they will fight till the end. And as for now, they still are in Mariupol. But there is a huge humanitarian catastrophe because there is more than 100 civilians which are suffering for more than 40 days of uh, this humanitarian crisis and uh, this uh, in this besieged city. And they have no water, no food, no heat, no electricity. And we ask all of our partners to support and help to stop this humanitarian catastrophe in Mariupol. What would control of Mariupol mean uh, if the Russians do indeed take control in the coming hours? There still are our soldiers and some of the regions of Mariupol is under Ukrainian control, so there is no whole, all con no whole control uh, from Russian side, uh, side of under Mariupol. You discuss the humanitarian disaster right now. We've seen the battering of Ukrainian cities continue. The Austrian chancellor met with President Putin this week, and he says that Putin now believes that he is winning this war. Has the tide turned? For now, no one uh, big city in Ukraine is not fallen, and uh, only Kherson is uh, under uh, control of Russian uh, military forces. But all of the rest cities are under Ukrainian control. We have some of the cities under uh, surrounding, so they are besieged, but they are still under Ukrainian control. Bigger and smaller cities and towns are under Ukrainian control. Many cities, more than 900 cities and towns and villages in Kyiv, Chernihiv, Sumer regions uh, are uh, freed, are freed uh, from the Russians' occupation and are deoccupied uh, during the last weeks. So we still are fighting and we have battle in uh, Donbas region right now, but we do not, uh, do not have intention to surrender. President Biden authorized another $800 million in military aid, 800 in military aid this week. What more do the Ukrainians need? We are so grateful to American people, especially pre to President Biden, for support of Ukraine, to all of our international partners uh, who support us ammunition, humanitarian, technical support for our country. Uh, we need more uh, money for uh, executing of our humanitarian and social obligations from side of our country. Now, uh, the only half of our economy is uh, working, so uh, we ask for financial support, and uh, we we will have meetings with ministers of finances, with uh, prime ministers, with presidents, in this sense. And uh, we have a deficit of the budget about uh, five billions dollars per month during this uh, every every month of the war. So uh, we appreciate and we are so gratitude for any financial support from the uh, side of United States and all of our international partners. Will you be attending the World Bank meetings in Washington, D.C. this week to make that case for economic aid? Our financial team uh, will work next week in Washington with uh, all the specialists and uh, managers of World Bank, of IMF, of U.S. Treasury, and we will, we all will have uh, communications and negotiations about financial support of uh, our country. What's the state of diplomacy right now? President Putin said that the diplomatic talks, any talks about a ceasefire reaching an impasse this week, have they reached a dead end? In any way, uh, Ukraine will prepare to stop this war uh, during diplomatic way, uh, when it will be possible. But uh, if one of side of this war 
If Russians wouldn't like to have negotiations, so we will fight till the end, absolutely. We will not uh, surrender, we will not leave our country, our families, our land, so we will fight absolutely till the end, till the win in this war. What's your major message to the West this morning? So, Ukrainians are absolutely responsible for uh, what are we doing during this war. We protect our country for protection, our country for protection, European democratic uh, democracy. Uh, we need more sanctions from our West partners. We need more uh, ammunition to protect our country and European borders. We need uh, more finances to uh, support our people, our refugees, our internally displaced persons, to save our economy for future recovery, uh, I hope, in nearest time, because we are absolutely uh, prepared for this fight, for this Russian attacks. And thank you for our West partners for really support, especially to the United States, uh, which support us uh, since the first day of this war. Thank you so much. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for your time this morning.